Hi guys, sorry that it's a bit dark, but um, we've got our wonderful load shedding schedule again. Um, but I want to get this um, ChatGPT Essential series done. So we're going to push ahead. Um, so far we've got, gone through um, the different models of ChatGPT. The um, basically the, the basics of what you can do with ChatGPT, what threads are, how to rename threads, etc. In today's episode, I thought I'd just give you a quick um, brief introduction to what ChatGPT could be used for. Um, the very first thing that I used ChatGPT for was to help my daughter to me with her homework. Um, so my maths is really not what uh, it used to be. And she had some questions and um, amazingly enough, ChatGPT helped me with um, her homework, her maths homework. So you can ask ChatGPT to do maths. You just have to reword it a bit. Um, so for example, this question, you can evaluate and you can see um, that it doesn't write it perfectly. So you have to literally change this to evaluate nine to the power of 150 over 300 and chat GPT gives a whole explanation uh, so now the power of 9 to the power of 150 over 300 is equal to 3 and let's look at the answer uh, blah 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 which is 3 okay so you can also ask it to rewrite x to the power of a half Rewrite x to the power of a half in radical form. I honestly don't even know what that means. Um, so it's a square root of x. And the answer, it's the square root of x. And you can go on and on. It, it, you do really complex maths. And what's really cool, um, you can tell it simplify completely whatever that is give an explanation to teach the kids on how to do this properly it gives all the processes and all the formulas so it's so the simplified expression and then it explained everything is 7i plus 1 and the answer is B, I plus 7I or 7I plus 1. So um, that's the first thing that it could do really cool. Um, something else that you could ask ChatGPT to do for you is um, plan your travel itinerary. You can tell it I'm planning to go on a trip to Mpumalanga in South Africa for a week. Please work out an itinerary for the week. I like adventurous trips and the great So, day one, it says we arrive in Nalspreit. Check in, relax. Day two, let's go to the Kruger National Park. Day three, Blyder River Canyon. Uh, take a boat on the Blyder Dam, Sabi, and the Waterfalls route, the Panorama route. More adventures start today with Adrenal Rush, but take a canopy tour of app sailing adventure. Visit the Sudwala Caves. Return to Nalspreit for your last night and depart on day eight so it's really good at um, planning um, trips and if you want to plan your holiday use chat gpt to give you like the highlights and the important um, sites or 
um, areas to go to and um, it's good with that as well so another thing that chat gpt could do is help you with your cooking and your recipes so you can tell it i'm on a keto diet please work out a seven day meal plan um it needs to be simple and cooked in prepared prepared in less than 15 minutes and you can go into detail like tell it um put the results in a table so i can actually um, print out the table and put it against my wall in a table with the days as the headings. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so it's giving me the days, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some snacks. And I think it's spot on because. I see no starches in here. On the keto diet, we're only allowed to eat 50 grams of starch or carbs per day. And this looks perfect. Okay, so the next thing I can tell it to do is um, create a shopping list. As you can see, I'm not really... Um, giving it advanced commands and uh, parameters to create the shopping list but it, this is a nice shopping list because it's basically broken it up into proteins dairies fruits and veggies nuts and seeds condiments and seasonings and other ingredients and it also says check your pantry for items that you may already have consider uh, your preferred brands and any specific dietary requirements you may have on shopping the list should provide you with the basics needed to prepare the meals outlined in the meal plan, which is really cool. I think uh, it just created a seven day uh, recipe list for me with quick and easy meals that I can prepare. So, um, another thing that um, the kids use this for is obviously for homework, and I already showed you the United Da Vinci example. But let's say, for example, my kids wanted to create a um, paper. So I'm going to tell it, write me a paper. Let's give it some more parameters. I'm in grade eight. So it knows who it needs to write it for. Write me a paper on Galileo. Gale See what it comes up with. So Galileo Galilei was the father of modern science, his early life and his education, some interesting facts on the law of the pendulum, um, telescope that he discovered, his conflict with the Catholic Church, his legacy and his impact. So this is great. The only problem is that my kids are in Afrikaans school. So let's go ahead and do this. The paper needs to be in Afrikaans. So we head on to Google Translate and we tell it, to, and Google has really gotten good with this, and we tell it to translate it into Afrikaans. So the father von Moderne Wienskap, it, it really has gotten good with the lexicon and the way that it um, puts the sentences out and the tenses it's it's almost perfect i recommend that you go read through this just to make sure uh, <coughs> that the the words are right but i'm sure this will get a good mark and unfortunately hasn't got um Siswati. the closest that you're going to get is in Zulu, um, but I know uh, Numsi that works for me says it's different. Um, 
apparently there's T's and not C's in Siswati. But this is the closest you're going to get. Unfortunately, Google Translate doesn't have uh, Siswati translation. The closest is Zulu. So another interesting thing that you can do with ChatGPT is ask it um, a question like, what games can I play? Can I play with you? If you're bored or night or could be quite educational for the kids um, to play some games with ChatGPT. So it's got trivia quizzes, 20 questions, word games, riddles, storytelling, maths, puzzles, language learning, role playing, general knowledge, and ask me anything. So let's do it 20 questions. Great. Think of something, and you have 20 questions to guess what it is. Uh, I'll think of something. I'm going to tell it you start. I want to think of something. I'm thinking of a banana, for example. Sure. Okay. Is the object I'm thinking of a living thing? A banana could be living, but it's. I don't think it's living. Is the object you're thinking of a man-made item? No. This could take a while. Found in nature, yes. And I'm going to give it a tip. So I'm just thinking of a type of plant or tree. It's a fruit. Just save some time. It'll get in 20 seconds. Is it fruit you're thinking of typically red or green when it's ripe? No, it's thinking of an apple. Is the fruit you're thinking of yellow when it's ripe? Yes, it's getting closer. Is it a banana? Yes. So all kinds of nice quizzes and games that you can play with um, ChatGPT. It really is a versatile tool and the uses are endless. And what's really cool, if you um, start a new chat, it'll actually give you some prompts here. Create a personal web page for me, explain nostalgia. You can write a SQL query, a structured query language, which is used in computer programming can compare business strategies but that's a bit more advanced we'll get into those in later videos but just a quick uh, demo of exactly what chat gpt can do with your maths homeworks and planning your itinerary and figuring out recipes and meal plans for you and you can actually tell it that you're on a budget and it'll, it'll um, change the ingredients of the recipe to in cheaper ingredients um, and play games when the kids are bored get them onto ChatGPT and it's also very educational for them to play some games with ChatGPT. So some examples of what ChatGPT can do and I hope that motivates you and inspires you to just use it. Please use it. It's an amazing tool.